Trump is continuing to go full authoritarian as we move towards Election Day. Political reports here. Donald Trump on Wednesday called for the controversial stop-and-frisk policing practice to be instituted nationwide as a means of combating violent crime in America's inner cities. He said, quote, I would do stop and frisk. I think you have to. We did it in New York, it worked incredibly well, and you have to be proactive and, you know, you really help people sort of change their mind automatically. You understand, you have to, in my opinion, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on in Chicago, I think stop and frisk in New York City, it was so incredible the way it worked. Now, we have had a very good mayor, but New York City w w was incredible the way that worked. So I think that could be one step you could do. <laughs> Are you ready for the reality of the situation? That's, of course, complete and utter bullshit. Here's the reality. Quote, An independent study of the city's stop and frisk program found that 87% of the 685,724 stops for 2011, a record high, were of blacks and Latinos. Young black men between the ages of 14 and 24 were stopped 106% of the time, as in, there were more stops of young black men than the entire population of young black men. Stop and frisk, here it is, had a 90% failure rate in 2011, and in the first three months of 2013, when the number of stops fell by 51% from the same period last year, the crime rate dropped as well. Two key facts. Number one, 90% failure rate. You're 90% stopping innocent people and ignoring their constitutional Fourth Amendment rights. And also, when they didn't do stop and frisks, when they, actually that's not fair, when they were cut in half. When stop and frisks were cut in half, the crime rate dropped as well. So, do you understand that? It is not the case that the more stops and frisks you do, the less crime there is. It was the opposite. The fewer they did, the fewer crimes there were. There's no evidence it works, and it is wildly, wildly, insanely unconstitutional. If you care about rights at all, like, if you're somebody, for example, who's really mad about the NSA situation and them taking all of our metadata and storing it and having the ability to spy on anybody for any fucking reason whatsoever, if you're mad about that, you have to be mad about this. You have to be mad about this. Because that is what it is. It's just, you know, hey, the cops... It's a fucking police state. The cops can just say, I want to fucking search you. I don't need a reason. It, whatever I can come up with is reason enough because I'm just going to stop and frisk you because you look guilty enough, so that's it. You know, uh, and if I happen to find something... And by the way, of the 90... 90% failure rate of the 10% that had something on them, what percentage of those were just dudes not hurting anybody, not bothering anybody, and they had a little bit of weed on them? Probably a lot of them, right? So, no. What you do with a policy like this is you legalize the cops being criminals. This is a criminal act on the part of the cops. That's what Donald Trump wants. Why? We've discussed it before. His ideology is, you know... I am the good guy, no matter what I do, so if I want to pull out of the Geneva Conventions, do torture, ignore international law, kill civilians on purpose, I'm the good guy no matter what. No matter what I do, I'm the good guy. You know who else he lumps into that barrel? The cops. You know, the cops. Sure, maybe, maybe he would concede, yeah, there's every, every now and then, very rarely, maybe there's one I say, you went a little too far there. But... If I set up a policy of permanent occupation and, and a police state and they get to search you for any reason whatsoever or non-reason and, you know, they tell you to do something, it that's it. End of analysis. They are right. They are cops. They have the badges. That's as far as I go. And you have to obey. You have to obey. Doesn't matter what they do. You have to obey. That's a dangerous view of the world. That's a dangerous view of the world. It's deeply authoritarian. Because it's saying you can't question authority because author because the authority is right by its very nature. He's doing this. He proposed this policy in the middle of his minority outreach campaign. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. 